eel pout, burbot, ling, whatever you want to call them, they are such a fun fish to catch through the ice. They like to fight hard and they're super fun in the springtime as they're making their way up to spawn. We love pounding big spoons on the bottom with the stinkiest bait you can find in hopes to catch that big pre-spawn burbot. You know, they might not be the prettiest fish in the world, but they are a lot of fun to catch. And those greasy little buggers, they put up a fight and uh, we really like catching them. You know, being devoted to something means giving everything, everything that you have. And we give that to our family. We give that to the things that we, that we love to do. I mean, it's gonna be an adventure every single day that we carry out into the outdoors or on the lake, on the ice. Each and everything that we do, we have that, that devotion. We can't thank the man above enough for what he's given us here and all these cool awesome experiences that we have that's that's the true blessing that we really have in this whole thing This is what this you come is why for. We're here. <laughs> is, Lake Lewood muskies are so pretty. They get that green phase to them. That is probably the biggest pike I've ever seen, man. Okay, I'll go up. See you later, girl. This is beautiful. Oh my gosh. Got him? Come here, right here, get ready. She's coming in hot. Yep. Coming in fast. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Nice one. Yeah. Nice one, babe. That's her. I'm pretty oh sure. God. What's going on everybody? John and Ashley here from Devoted Outdoors and we are actually here stopping at Northwoods Bait and Tackle, our local tackle shop. And uh, we're going out after some burbs tonight. So we're excited, they've been firing off and, and we're really excited for this one. So we're making our first stop here at Northwoods Bait and Tackle. Great store, they got everything you need from summer to winter, early ice to late ice and they've got a lot of good burb stuff in there. So that's what we're gonna go in there after and we'll go in there and we'll check in with Will quick and we'll do a little run through on some of the stuff that they got and things that you'll need to go, go out and have a successful burbot trip. What's going on? Not much, how are you guys? Oh, not too much, just getting ready to get after some burbs. Some burbs yeah, right. yeah, for yeah. sure. So this is Will, um, he works here at Northwoods Bait and Tackle and uh, wealth of knowledge right here, a lot of people know him for walleyes and stuff and he will tell you and point you in the right direction when you stop in the shop here. So we're just gonna go through a few things and show them what we need to go hammer down on some birds. So yeah. New for this year was the ribbon spoon. And a lot of people haven't used it yet for burbots, but actually Ashley and I have been out um, and we've been experimenting with it and it's a little bit lighter of an action, which um, kind of is nice for when you're jigging, it keeps it kind of light. Um, but um, they glow really well too. So one of our favorites is the Glow White. Um, Clam's got a really good new paint on there that glows for a long time. You drop it in the glow ring and that thing's gonna hang on um, for quite a while. So that's one of our favorite baits, uh, especially this year. And uh, we're gonna make our way over to the Big Nasty section. This is the Big Nasty Tackle section. They got a whole, uh, a big selection actually. Um, 
Big Nasty is out of Cass Lake, so it's a, a local company and we've been using them for, for years. Uh, one of our favorites is the Glow Green, but they have a, a big variety here. One thing we really like about them is you can bang bottom super hard, get the pellets attention down there, and they're super heavy, so you sh can shoot it down. You can kind of get down the water column really quickly, get you down to bottom. Uh, and yeah. they also have a really, really big, uh, big glow. As you can see, there's a big surface there, so they glow mighty fine down there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's so. really cool, too. They got a, you know, they used to just come, they used to just have the actual glow green. Well, then last year, a couple years ago, they came out with the glow red. And now, as you can see, we've got a huge selection of, of glow colors, which has been really cool because at certain times, we've actually seen that certain colors are working even better. So, yep. so, so yeah. Yes. Cool. All right, well, we're ready. All right, man, All right. appreciate it. Have a good one. Targeting guys. eel pout is more of a specific to late ice, and the reason for that is they actually go in to spawn. They're one of the first fish to spawn in the springtime, and they do it before the ice is actually off. And you can target these fish way easier because they group up into big groups of what they call eel pout balls, and they're coming up to rocky, sandy, gravelly mixture humps um, to spawn. And so these fish are actually, a lot of activity happens in the late evening um, into night, but at the beginning, but mid spawn, these fish, you can actually target them all day long. And we love pounding big spoons with the stinkiest bait you can find in hopes to catch that big pre-spawn bourbon. So it's a lot of fun. It's fun to be able to branch out. And you know, this is a fish that we hadn't grown up targeting, uh, but now more recently, you know, within the last few years, they've gotten a lot more popularity. And I think a lot of people are getting out there and starting to target them a lot more and they can just be so much fun while you're doing it. Perfect, right on the spot. Oh, man, it's a beautiful day. We just got up uh, where we found a 30 to 40 foot hump off of deep water. Um, we've been kind of tracking these, these burbits for a while now. They're getting close to that spawn. So we're going to kind of yeah. come out here a little bit earlier in the day. And we're going to try to drill holes all the way up to the, the top of that hump in about 15 or so feet of water. And we're going to kind of make holes all the way from 40 to 15. And we're going to see where those burbs are at right yeah. now. Um, we're getting really excited for that big spawn uh, bite. They have been bite all day and so we're yeah. really looking forward to that. So we're kind of trying to check every day. Every day we're getting closer to that spawn so we want to get out here and see if it's today. So yeah could be today. If it <laughs> is it's you know it's that time of year we're mid-March and it's getting to be that spawning period. So like Ashley said we're just checking every day waiting for those burbs to ball up and and eventually here one of these days they're going to snap and we'll get on that that hot hot bite but right now we're just checking it till then and we're still plucking off a good amount of fish um, in the evenings after dark and as soon as they do start to spawn then we can catch them for all day long and have some burb fun all day long for a few weeks until they're done so yep either way it's a beautiful day yep. to be out today so oh it's gorgeous i can't yeah. believe it it's, <laughs> it's i'm so nice. dying in just my gale and my <laughs> my new uh the new vest so yeah a little different than uh <laughs> below zero and 30 mile an hour winds we've been having yeah. so sure feels good to be out so should be a good night and and uh we're looking forward to it so we better get after it start yeah. drilling some holes and see if these babies are spawning yet let's go right, let's do it 30. 30 so it's still on that slope yeah let's go out further We got there. 36. Okay, that's fine. We'll go with that for now. Yeah, it sounds good. 36 should be good. I I'll tell you one thing. They always say dress appropriately for the weather because <laughs> blackfish, you can't choose the weather. Well, I'll tell you right now, I dressed way, way too warm. It is freaking hot out here. Woo! <laughs> A tip I want to share with you today about minnows is when you're getting your heads and your tails. If you get one of the clam bait pucks, you can just store them in there with a little bit of water and then you can seal her up and put it in your pocket so it's easily accessible for whenever you need them. So that's just uh, one way that we found is really, really easy to have them ready when you need them. A lot of times when you're banging 
banging bottom sometimes you'll have a head or a tail fall off so you can just pull one out quick and throw it on there um, also I'm going to be using I know we've been talking about the big nasties so I'm going to throw this size today and uh, yeah I'm going to be tipping it with minnows and tails minnow heads and tails and getting as much meat on there as I can so yeah you ready for your rods you gotta get the rods out All right, here you go. Little I'm scepter rod. That I baby's gonna be pumped. perfect for burbs. That yeah. thing is awesome. A rod I'm gonna be using tonight for uh, pout fishing is the scepter carbon. This is a 34 inch rod. So it's got a great backbone to it. Really great action. So I'm super pumped to be using this tonight for pout. So yeah, and it also has a, it's got really good action for when you're, when you're banging bottom with a heavy bait too. I know we were talking about the big nasties are, are heavy. So it's got a big strong backbone on it and really great action so it can withstand a, a big bait like a big nasty. So yeah, I'm really excited to use this rod tonight and uh, should have some good action. The rod that I'm going to start with here is the new Katana 42 inch heavy rod. Um, this is new to the lineup of clam rods which we're really excited about. It's got the sim cork on it which is going to lighten your rod up a lot and give you a ton of sensitivity. So this rod here is kind of the big game fish rod. And I think it's gonna work very well for burbs. This is actually gonna be my first time using it, so I'm super excited about it. And um, I'm gonna be using the Leech Ribbon Spoon, which is new to last year's lineup. But a lot of people aren't using these yet for burbs, but we tried them out a couple weeks ago and the thing just crushed. So the paint on the clams has that new glow paint, which is extremely, extremely global so you drop that in your down in the glow ring and that thing's going to last for quite a while so i'm actually very excited to use this this is going to be a great great multi-species rod for us we're going to be using it for burbot we're going to be using it for tr lake trout um, maybe even some sturgeon through the ice who knows we'll see but um, it has a really good action to it and uh, we're very excited about this rod in the lineup this year so i'm going to get baited up and we're going to go find some burbs I just want to see a ball of bourbon. 18 feet here. I love it when you call me Big Nasty. <laughs> I love it when you call me Big Nasty. <laughs> you're so nasty. <laughs> Burb, you're so nasty. <laughs> uh, I just got to talk sweet to you. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta talk sweet to them. You gotta really talk sweet bite. to these bad boys, eh? These big girls, they really like it when you talk sweet to them. Got a bird, baby. Grab my Vexlar, babe. First one of the day. First one on. First one. Oh, he got it. Oh, my God, he's right there. Oh. <laughs> the grease hole. The grease hole. <laughs> oh, no. Well, that was close. Yeah. That one pounded, actually I came said. in, two of them came in that time. Right. And uh, yeah, he pounded it. Yeah, well this God, is a there great sign. Well, We're already marking burbots and yeah. it's early in the day still. For so sure. They're for sure. here. They're here. They're here. They're here. That one was super, that one just came up and just pounded <laughs> That's awesome. it. awesome. Yeah. Sweet. All God, right, well. Darn it. Well, you they're here. Down there. Yep, we'll yeah. get back down there. There was two of them that time. So. Okay, sweet. So they're kind of coming in and... Yeah, they came in in a pair down that one. A few. Sweet. Yeah. All right, well, you want to pass me? You yeah. have to bait back up here and get back cool. down there quick. <laughs> awesome. All right, yeah, go get them, babe. Got one. I'm hooked up. Ooh. <laughs> you got you get him yep. Oh, yeah. Ooh, he's right by the hole. Yep, right there. And he just got off. Are you freaking me? <laughs> No! <laughs> ah, I think he might have got around the deucer. Dang. That is number two that number we lost two. now. Okay. All right. <laughs> I guess we uh, get let's, her back let's, down there. <laughs> let's try this again. <laughs> oh, no. God oh, darn oh, it. It's crazy when you got one on, they just roll. And I know, roll they and do. Roll, and yeah, sometimes they, they do. get caught on the bottom of the hole or on the deucer or wherever. You just come up and pound it? Around. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, I was just actually even slowly, I hardly even jigged. I was just slowly lifting. And just Came up, pounded it. Yeah. Yep. So we are definitely All right. marking. Well, they're I mean, here. We're going to get them. It's setting up to be a really good night. Yep. So we'll just keep, keep at her. Eat it. There's two of them down there. <laughs> Got them. Got them. Got them. <laughs> Get that Vexlar, babe. Yep. Ooh, yeah, it feels like a good, good one, too. One? Yep. It's all right. Awesome. Heck yeah, he just slammed it. There's two of them again. Here comes. Oh, yeah, yep. here he is. Oh, hold on. He's kind of on the side yep. right now. I'll tell you when it's not He's not ready yet. Head. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Heck yeah, this is a good one. Oh, he's just he right just, up. He's like sideways. There he oh, is. yep, there, there he comes. He is. Here he comes. There he is. Heck yeah! Nice, babe. Oh. Got him! Got him! <laughs> Man, they just want to evade us tonight. Yeah, these just... little buggers. Look at that. Extra slippery tonight. It's not a bad burbot. No, that's that. a good one. Yeah, it's a good eel pot. Sweet. Heck yeah! Finally! All Woo! Right. <laughs> nice Man, job. we got a couple get off at the hole. That one almost wanted to go down oh. too, but we got them. We got nice em. job, babe. Great Sweet. grab there. So there was actually two of them down there that time. And a lot of times this time of year when they're coming in like that, you know that we're really close. So we were talking earlier today that we just keep on checking these shallow water and we hadn't seen burbs like this yet this shallow. No. So this is a great time. sign. And yep. um, these fish are coming up to spawn for sure now. So it's gonna be game on for the next week or two here. And we got a lot of awesome burb <laughs> action coming. Yeah. And um, I tell you, man, these things are so much fun. And you know, we talk a lot about eel pout and how they're becoming a very, very um, sought after fish. They're becoming really popular. And in fact, Minnesota DNR actually made them a game fish this year, which is really good to see because, you know, before you'd walk around on the ice and there'd be burbot laying all over the ice and it's just sad to see. But it's very cool sad. that they're starting to realize that these are becoming a really cool fish. I mean, look how beautiful those things are. Just gorgeous markings on them. And uh, man, I tell you what, it's, Definitely not a face that just a mother can love because I love them. <laughs> <laughs> I love them too. Awesome. <laughs> All right, job. well, should we get her back in there? Yeah. Let's Man, that thing crushed that leech ribbon Ooh. spoon. I'm telling you, that's like fish number three that's crushed the leech ribbon spoon. Nice. See you later, girl. <laughs> awesome. Well, that's the first one of the night. We've lost two right at the hole and uh, they're really going. These fish are super shallow now, which is awesome. I cannot wait to see what tonight <laughs> has in store for us. If they're biting like this already, that means it's game on, baby. So um, we're gonna get back down here and we're gonna go catch a bunch more, so. All right, you let's ready? go. <laughs> All right, let's rock and roll. Burb slime, Woo! baby. Mm, yes, yes. Well, we just got the first one on the ice. Uh, we lost a couple and we, we just got that one up on the ice and we are so excited for tonight because this is something that we've been doing for years. Ever since college, we've been coming out and chasing burbot and I know it wasn't too popular even back then and it's kind of gotten some more, more craze nowadays and it's just, it's such a fun thing to do. Um, they fight like crazy and John and I have been targeting them, you know, for a really long time. So it's, it's a special thing to be able to come out here and. We really look forward to this time of year, especially during the spawn when you can get them kind of all day long and they're coming in and, and big old bait balls. And so it's just a really, it's really special to us. And it's something that we always look forward to every single year. All right, I'm using the leech flutter spoon. Um, this thing has just been crushing burbs. And what we're doing is we're taking a couple pieces of minnow. We're taking the head, putting the head on one of the tines and then we are taking the tail they're slippery so got to get a hold of it but taking the tail and we're putting that on the other side and what i like to do with the tail is i actually like to do the tail side first so just keep that tight up against the tail it's really tough tough skin right there and it seems to hold on really well and um, if you mark if you put it up on the top there it usually kind of pulls out when you're ripping bottom and stuff so but that's kind of how we do it i put one piece on each tine i leave one tine open for a good hooking percentage and then we're just sitting there bouncing that thing off bottom and then bringing it up two three feet off bottom and just giving her a lot of noise every burbs come in they're really really attracted to that sound and i think honestly um, one of the reasons why this bait is so good is you can actually hear you hear them clanking it's got that little spoon on there that little extra um, spoon on there that clanks up against it and I think that gives a really good sound 
and I think that attracts those birds. So, um, yeah, anything that's kind of like that, that's got sound to it and whatever, but that's how we rig them up and that's how we catch them, baby. Well, we're ending the night here. We're calling her quits. Um, marked a lot of fish, just kind of a little temperamental. Um, earlier, the bite just seemed to be during the day. So that's a good sign that the spawn is definitely on. And, um, you know, we marked, marked quite a few fish after dark, but they're just kind of negative. So we're gonna pack her up for the night. We're gonna go grab some grub and hang out and then uh, wake up tomorrow. And we're actually gonna come out earlier tomorrow. As soon as we got here and dropped down, we actually marked and lost that first one right away. So we're gonna, we're gonna pack her up tonight, head out and come back tomorrow and hopefully slam them. So a lot of fish around here. There's plenty of fish here, um, but it just seems that that bite was just a little earlier. So we're gonna come out here and get her done tomorrow. Got him! Got one! We're on! Oh, come on, baby. Man, we were sitting here waiting for a burb to bite. Get that deucer, would you? Got him! Oh, nice. Yeah! Yeah! Heck yeah! <laughs> Booyah! Oh. We were in a little bit of a lull there waiting for yeah. a bite. And I did the man. I was master. actually not gonna lie to you. I was kind of daydreaming a little bit here of open water and all of a sudden I look down and this thing comes in and just crushed it. Look at that thing. Can I grab them? Yep. Go ahead and let them down. Heck yeah. <laughs> all right. Awesome. He just came up and he just sat on I didn't know if he was going to bite it, but he came up because it almost looked like he was going to be going back down, but thing came up and just, look at that, he just crushed that ribbon spoon. It's just t-boned it i can't even open up his mouth but awesome <laughs> nice, heck yeah. yeah we're on the All board right. for on the board we're out here and we're chasing these burbs um during spawn and you always have the opportunity for day bites like we've been talking about and um what we're sitting at 3 30 in the afternoon so that's a yeah. that's a heck of a start right there so get this baby on pin if we can here he really inhaled that thing wow look at that <laughs> nice. Open. Here, you want to grab my yeah. grab my toothpick there? Mm -hmm. Well, maybe I got it. I got yep. it right there. Yep. Nice. Here we go. Get that out of your way. Heck yeah. Sweet. Not a real big one, but a good start to the day. Yeah, nice work. Heck yeah. <laughs> awesome. Super fun. We've been marking a couple. This is the third one we've marked now, um, and it's the first one that bit. So, getting her done. Yeah, they're going. Yeah, little bugger. Awesome fish. I'm gonna dip them quick here. <laughs> Cute little guy, huh? Yeah. It's a good start. <laughs> yeah. He's waving to the camera, saying hi. <laughs> <laughs> Heck yeah. Nice. Another verb. <laughs> you know, eel pout fishing is, like we've been saying, is gaining a lot of attraction. It's, and for a good reason. I mean, these fish are super, super special. And they're, every fish has its place in the ecosystem. And really, we like to stay diversified when um, it comes to angling. It just keeps you on your toes and it gives you a different flavor, so to say, about fishing. I mean, honestly, I mean, we, we chase many different bites throughout the year. We chase many different species throughout the year. And it's something that we really like to do is to kind of keep it diversified. Eel pout are really a beautiful fish. They really are. I think they are. They're extremely fun to catch. I mean, you can see how hard they fight. They're just up and down and all around. And like I said, they're a super important role in the ecosystem too. So it's really cool that they're starting to protect them like we'd mentioned and, you know, seeing more and more people get into the sport of eel pout fishing is really cool. Um, they deserve that respect and, and quite frankly, they're starting to get it. So it's, it's really cool to see. And you know, there's a lot of lakes that, are, um, that hold a lot of eel pout, especially in the northern part of Minnesota, like we're in right now. We've got many awesome opportunities around here for eel pout. So 
you know, if you're looking to get out and do your pout fishing, you know, just start doing a little research. There's a lot of great information online. There's a lot of, you know, a lot of good areas that you can find out about these fish. And it's one of our favorite bites of the year. I mean, they're all favorite bites, but we, yeah. lo I mean, we love them all. And this is, this is just another one of those special bites. We've been doing it for years together. We started doing it in college and, and here we are. Yeah, we've done it ever yep. since. Heck yeah. yeah. So let's get another one and right. we're going to keep on rolling here. I think the bite's about ready to pick up pretty hard here. So. so we've been starting to mark them and that was the first one that wanted to bite. So yep. I think we're, I think we're going to roll on them. So. Heck night. yeah. All right. Oh, come on. You chased it three times. Look at this fish. Got him. Yeah. Oh, got him. Nice got job. Got him. It's a good one, too. Get that deucer, babe. Get that deucer. Nice job. Oh, man. He just literally, I don't know how many times he came up on me. Oh, Ooh, boy. He's, he's got some pulling. big head shakes. Got some weight to him. Oh, yeah. Oh boy, Ooh. this might be a better one here. Yeah. Whew. He's right at the hole. It looked like a really good one on the graph. Can't see him yet. <laughs> they just sit there and they squirm. You got to get uh -huh. that head up the hole. Oh man, it feels like a really, really good fish. I still can't see him. Haven't seen him yet? No. Nope. Okay, here he comes. Here he comes. Oh, yeah. oh that's a good one. That's a really good one. That's a look up, man. Got him? Not yet, but I will have. He's hooked really good, so good. nothing to worry about. Oh, that's a good one. There. Yeah, that is a good that's one. That's a nice wow, one. Look at that. <laughs> look at that one. Oh, you wow. could tell he was a little better fish. He came up. Man, whew, I'm like shaking a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> that one came up off bottom and literally chased me. Like it came up and initially sat on me at like two feet. I kept on raising, and he was just super aggressive. And so I just kept on going up and up and he literally hit that thing at like probably eight feet off bottom and just finally he came up on it like three, four, five different times and finally just schwacked it. I mean, look at, he just yeah, engulfed work. that ribbon spoon, man. Look at that. It's that. unreal. They're just loving that thing. But that is a nice burbot. That's what we're looking for right look there, belly. man. Look at the belly on that one. Heck yeah. Nice. Woo! <laughs> Awesome. Yeah. Great We're just fight. kind of, yeah, it was a great fight. We're just coming into kind of prime time here now. And yeah. The thing came up and just absolutely crushed it finally Sweet. after. Yeah, I just great. marked one too, just before this. Just, you know, not, it didn't take long. So, yeah, that's, we really haven't been marking much. And now all of a sudden they're starting yeah. to kind of come Heck through. Yeah. So, oh man, did he choke that ribbon spoon again? He they're did, just crushing yeah. it almost, you know, they get it in there. And you, you can see, burbs don't have teeth really, they just have kind of gums. And uh, He's gonna talk you can kind of see in there, that one was definitely not coming off. So um, definitely inhaled oh, that. You want to grab so my, yeah, go ahead and grab my toothpick there. Yeah, get underneath there. that one. That one's just a little bit there. There you go. Fold that one out right there. Yep, there you go. Perfect. Got him. Beautiful. Look at that. Beautiful burb just god they're pretty aren't they way to work them man yeah i know <laughs> that one took some convincing but she finally went so that's awesome sweet heck yeah all right well we better get back down there i think they're i think they're gonna yeah. start slamming here so get that one back and we'll get get after them okay here we go three two one Heck yeah, oh, got another one. Down. We better get back down there and get after him here. They're, yeah. they're starting to go here, so it's go. prime time. So we're gonna get back down there. So eel pout, you gotta remember, eel pout um, do not have anything in place right now to protect them. They're basically a fish that was considered a rough fish. Now they did change it to a game fish. However, they're still not protecting them the way that they need to be. It, it doesn't hurt to keep a couple eel pout. We do it now and then, and they're delicious. You know, eel pout are very good to eat. And, uh, but you gotta just remember, you gotta do your part in conserving these fish. 
so we have them around to fish for many years to come. Burbot are excellent eating fish. We like to keep a couple every now and then when we're out on the ice and we catch a couple. Uh, we like to prepare them two different ways. Two of our favorite ways to prepare them are either, you may know it as poor man's lobster, where you boil it, and we typically like to boil it in Sprite, so it gives it a little extra sweetness, a uh, little lemon lime flavor, and we dip that in butter or garlic butter. Um, also, you can beer batter them. So you can take, you whip up like flour, an egg, a little bit of beer, some seasonings, and you, you dip it in there and you fry it just as you'd regularly fry fish, and it's, Wonderful, those are our two favorite ways to eat them. So just as John was saying, it's really important to throw the majority back to, uh, for conservation of the fishery, um, but it's also okay to keep a couple as well to eat. Do it, got her, got her, got her. Man, they are seriously just tough right now, but got her. You got her. Yep, get that, that Vexy. Oh, way. she's Sorry. wrapped real good. There, we got it. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh she's feisty. Oh boy. Oh, yep. Here we go. <laughs> she just come in unglued on that thing. I didn't think she was coming back there for a minute. She left me. And a lot of times, like, you get one shot at birds. That's the thing. Is like, a lot of times you only get one shot at them. There she's got her. Yeah, maybe. Nice and slimy little guys. Slimy little guys. Yeah, look at that. Aww. Heck yeah. Cute little bugger. Cute little guy. That's a good one. Feisty. Man, that thing went on. I thought it was going to be bigger than that, <laughs> but that's a nice little burb. They all fight hard. They do all no fight hard. Size. Doesn't matter. That's why we love chasing these things, man. It's it's crazy, but so fun. I can even lip that one. <laughs> <laughs> you can kind of see it too, like inside their mouth. So a lot of people think that eel pout are bottom feeders. Eel pout aren't bottom feeders. They're actually very, very aggressive fish that are very predatory. And a lot of people misunderstand that. I mean, a lot of people think that they're just cruising the bottom. And yes, they do cruise the bottom, but on the other side, they are very, very um, active fish. A lot of times we'll clean them and we'll find perch in them. We'll yeah. find all sorts of stuff in them. So they really, really are a, a predatory fish. So mm -hmm. this is a cool little fish, huh? Clearly, I mean. Yeah, oh yeah. AK left and came flying back oh, at yeah. it. Yeah, I I'm thought, excited. I didn't think I was gonna get a second chance at that one, but we got her, so. Nice little burb. Sweet. Yeah. Heck nice yeah. Work. Yeah. You better get over there and get them. They're, they're starting to fire up now. So, all right. Well, we're going to let this one go and we're going to get back down there because now that's two in the last, you know, couple minutes here. So we're going to get back in there. All right. Here we go. Get her back down there. See you later. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Awesome. I didn't think I was going to get that one, but I didn't think so she came back and. She hammered it, so we're gonna get back down there right now. They're they're starting to come through. We're right in prime time right now, so I gotta go grab another minnow head, and we're gonna get back down there. It's incredibly important as it gets dark uh, that you keep your jigs glowed. Um, I can't say enough how many times we've glowed our jigs and then put it down, and you see fish right away on them. So as the sun starts to hit the top of the trees and it starts getting darker, make sure that you're glowing. Uh, the best way that we like to glow is with a glow ring. So as you can see, it's easily uh, accessible for your jig, lights it up really quick and keeps it lit down there for a while. So make sure you're keeping them glowed. All right, get the old fish house set up. You need to get her nice and cozy in here. Get this baby rolling so we can sit out here all night and catch these burbs. All right, everybody. We got the Voyager Thermal XT all set up and ready to roll. This house offers a lot of really cool features. And Ashy and I took the time and we decked this thing out so that it was set up perfectly for the situation that we're in right now. And that's fishing eel pout or anything after dark. We've got the extra lights down here that we put in, which is super handy for lighting up the whole floor. As you can see, it just adds a whole new dynamic of light down there. These houses are set up really cool with how the XT stands for extra tall. So with that being said, clam, changed the whole design of these houses now with how the poles run up there, how the doors are, um, where they're placed. We've got the new chairs that have the armrests. We've got super, super good padding on them and they're really easy to take out and move around um, for when you're wanting one person in the house, maybe two people in the house. Um, so these things come out really easy. We've got a lot of different 
applications in here. We've got the cup holder, the food holder down here. We've got the extra tall system in here. The doors are super accessible. I mean, look how easy it is to walk in and out of this thing. I mean, you got all the room that you need. And also with the extra tall roof, comes in really handy when you're setting the big hook sets on these eel pouts. So we're really excited about this new house. Um, Clam totally renovated their whole lineup of fish houses this year and it's going to be really exciting to see all the good feedback on these things. So um, check them out. Awesome, awesome house for especially for this kind of application. So now that we got it all set up, we're ready to rock and roll. Um, we've got a couple eel pout already on the ice and we're going to sit here and put the hammer down on them tonight. We're probably going to be jumping in and out of the house. Um, so those extra tall doors makes that super handy and easy to do. But we're going to go out there, we're going to go try a few different depths and shallow because those fish are shallow earlier and there's some that have been deeper. So we're just going to be intermingling in between those, those depths and we're going to find where these babies are and we're going to put the smack down on them. So stick with us and we're going to put a couple on the ice here. When eel pout are going up to humps to spawn, uh, a lot of times what you'll find is that there'll be a big female uh, full of eggs and the males will be making their way to her. So a lot of times, you know, you'll be jigging, trying to find fish, um, but if you find one, oftentimes you're going to find others as well. Uh, so, you know, kind of be mobile around these humps, keep checking different areas because all you really need is that big hot female to be up there and you're going to find a lot of males as well. Yeah, baby. Ooh. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Oh my gosh. It's a good one? Like a one yeah. yeah, it looks like it, babe. Oh, Ooh, you got your drag set good? Yep. Oh. Check that drag, check that drag. It's gonna be a big female. Here, let's loosen that drag just a little bit. Okay. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Heck yeah, babe. These females are up top right now. We actually just moved up on top. <laughs> Oof, duh. Fighting, Fighting good. Hold on, just wait. Play her out. Oof, it's a big fish, wow, babe. A really big it's a good one. It's a good one. Play her out, babe. <laughs> what do you think, honey? Oh, my gosh. oh man. I think this is the one we've been waiting oh. for all night. <laughs> oh man. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Play her out. Oh, I see her down there. She's pretty. All right, tell me when Just keep going. Just keep going. Oh, it's a big one, babe. It's really big. Really big. Okay, up, go up. Come on, come on, come on. Giant, giant, babe. Giant. Woo! Yes. Yeah, baby. Look at that thing. Oh my gosh, that's what we've been looking for. We just came up shallow, and these fish are full spawn. We came up super shallow here just after dark. Oh, babe, they're here. Oh my gosh. Oh. Look at the belly Look on that Look at the belly on that one. She's getting ready to so just pretty. spawn. Here you go. Let me get this out here for you. Pop it off. Oh, man, <laughs> baby, that thing is a giant. <laughs> Woo! Woohoo! Yes. Yeah, we were. I was out in 20 feet of water, and John started, he came up on the hump here. We got up at shallow, about 12 feet of water. And 12 feet, yeah. So I followed him up, and we started banging bottom super hard down in the sand, and these fish are so got aggressive Got really right aggressive. Now. Yeah, we just... We got super aggressive on them, so. Uh huh. Yeah, she just came <laughs> ripping right up and pounded it. So. That's such a nice fish, oh, she's babe. Got That's such a, a pretty spot on the tail there. I know some of these burbots get such unique spots. They do. It's so, it's cool. so cool. So cool. <laughs> that is just a gorgeous right. fish. Should we get her back down? Yep, let's get her back down. Man, that's such a beautiful burb. <laughs> Look at her belly. Awesome, babe. We'll see you later, big All girl. Right, see you later, girl. Oh, Woo. yes. Oh. Slime burb at five. I love it. Slime. <laughs> We're all slimed oh, up. Man, was that a fun day or what? That was such a blast, babe. Ooh. I love, I just, I love this, this. It's so cool to be out here in the night, too. Like, I love, yeah. I love the whole aspect of just eel pulp fishing and how it's been something that we've done together yeah, for... Just, just the lights and the glow and the burbs. That's right. That's <laughs> awesome. Yep. Gosh, that was a that was a sweet fish to end it on. Yeah, it was. Awesome. Congrats on a Thank giant, you. babe. <laughs> mm. All right. Well, I suppose that'll wrap it up for tonight. And it was an awesome day. Yes, it was. All right. <laughs>